What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to react to So Real Tea. I'm La Perfect Home Safe. Rachel Wavy moving on. Essie mad as F after. Let's get it. What is up, So Real Gang? How are we doing today? Let's get into the video. The other day I reported that Jazz was going to get a hysterectomy. Well, guys, since then, she has finally got her surgery and it was very successful. All of her friends were at the hospital to support her. We hope she have a safe recovery, but make sure you guys leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. Honey, I was about to leave and Mango about to have a fit. So y'all probably gonna hear him bark. Mm -hmm. oh, well, how are you? Thank you, Harvey. Hey. Come on in. Hey, David. Come on in. This is Jeremiah. Okay. How you doing? So, good. How are you? So, this is going to be um, Paddis. Hey, gotcha. All right. Can you do a prayer for me? Mm-hmm. I want to take all my belongings. Okay. That's all her stuff? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to touch your little toe right here. Yeah. Father God, we just say thank you. Uh, right now, we just ask for uh, rehabilitation, rejuvenation, and Lord God's strength. Uh, continue to bless us uh, where we weak. Give her all the strength that she needs to be better uh, in the timely fashion that she needs to be better in. Uh, bless all FOE. Continue to uh, give us what we need to keep, continue this thing called life. Uh, find us where we lost. Heal us where we are uh, sick. Fix us where we're broken. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. That was a good prayer right there. Some supportive kings right there. Oh. A mark. Oh, oh, you got the message too? At least you. No, you gonna be eating good. You feel so? Sorry. You know you gonna be eating good, brother. You got the wheelchair, huh? You got the wheelchair, huh, brother? Yeah, we are being Support. I ain't gonna lie. Back in the days, it kind of used to be against a lot of things. Yeah, you crazy with it, bro. You might want to do a quick prayer. Yeah, we can do it. He said, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to do a quick prayer. Yeah, we're going to do a quick prayer. We're going to do a quick prayer. We're going to do a quick prayer. Come on, y'all. Everybody here, come on. Listen, I know, uh, especially some of y'all that's older that watch me, I know y'all so happy you ain't got that period no more. That's a blessing. <laughs> She just did the biggest thing in the world. <laughs> I just want to say shout out to FOE for I'm definitely glad she holding got, Jazz down. Okay, look, I'm glad she got through. Shout out to them for, um, you know, looking out for her and being by her. That's them some real niggas right there. It's amazing to have good friends that genuinely care about you and your well-being. Just the prayers that they did for her, I know God heard and received it and she will be healed in no time. But make sure you guys head over to Amar and the rest of the FOE channel to watch those videos and leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. Let's get into Ray So Wavy. She dropped a mukbang Q&A on her channel where she answers a few more questions and she did state that she will be moving forward from Texas and will be relocating at the end of this year. She did state if you guys want to guess where she's going, just drop it in the comment section and let us know what you think. Somebody said the first question is how much longer do you plan on staying in Houston? This is actually a good question. I'm actually moving out of Houston this year, y'all. Like don't get me wrong, my original plan was to come to Houston, start a YouTube house, build my content network, but of course, everything to go as planned, but I still did what I had planned was to network, build connections, build friendships. I didn't build some genuine friendships, y'all, that I could take with me for a lifetime. So, for real, for real, my job in Houston is done. Like, I'm out. Very. But comment below where y'all think I'm about to move to next. Cause she did speak a lot about her current situation and where she is mentally and emotionally as well with everything that has been going on throughout the year. And she did state that she has found God again in her life. And guys, let me tell you, that is always the right step. Anytime you guys are feeling happy, sad, anything always go to him and you will find everything that you're looking for so real tv spitting on any video how are you doing mentally mentally man i ain't gonna lie y'all my life is coming together so perfectly to the point where like i can't be nothing but grateful like 
the biggest thing I think, like for me y'all right now, is just my relationship with God. Like I feel like I didn't got Fair so right. like so much closer back to God, and it makes me happy because, like I said, I came from a Christian household. Like all we knew was that, like growing up in church, going to Bible study, in the choir. You get what I'm saying? Like I grew up on that stuff, man. And I feel like when I grow, I stepped so far away from myself, y'all, to the point where like I damn near was disappointed in myself, man. But oh, I, she wanted. But that. now for real, all right, you know what I'm talking about. Now for real though, y'all, like. Mentally, I feel like I'm in the best headspace I've been since I've been in Houston. Like, I finally feel like I'm getting back into my vibe. Let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all normally like, or not normally, do y'all cook s seafood boils in your house? And if you do, do y'all buy the crab legs and stuff from the grocery store? And if you do, have you ever tasted ammonia in them? I want to know. Because... I'm not doing any more seafood boils unless I'm killing a crab my damn self. I've tasted the ammonia twice. Oh my God. Just roll over and die. I mean, it tastes like you took the I took the crab leg and just dipped it in ammonia. Oh ammonia, if it tastes like ammonia, that means it's spoiled for those that don't know. It's coming together, God working in my life. I gotta be nothing but right down below and let All us right. know. And what I'm you not think. gonna lie with this whole retrograde and everything that has been going on this Right. I'm sorry to cut you off, friend. But at the beginning of the retrograde, I was I was about to go a little crazy. <laughs> But I finally got my shit back together. Here, this is the perfect time. Everybody is getting closer to God. And if you guys are not, then you're not living right. So make sure you guys tap in with him and just thank him for the good, the bads, the ups and the downs. Because I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm always thankful and I live through him. Great. And that's just that. So I'm just glad that Ray, you know, has finally found herself again and is able to tap in with herself and just do what she has to do and take it easy on herself. She did speak a lot about her and Talia's current situation. She did state that she is single, but Talia makes her very happy. And guys, I mean, she's a Sagittarius like me, duh. That is uh, what we do, you know? So I definitely I love it. Her. I know that can't speak for all Sagittarius people, but I do think that they are very genuine people and they love to, you know, pour into others as well as pouring into themselves. But you know, just hearing what Ray had to say about her just lets me know that it is a very genuine, you know, dynamic that they have. They said, are you single? So currently right now, y'all, I am single, you know, I'm not in a relationship. Nothing is set in stone. No, I'm in nothing committed. But y'all do know I talk to somebody right now. And honestly, this probably one of the best partners, not even partners, but one of the best people I can have by my side, man. Like, one thing about... <clears throat> I mean, this person y'all like we have a genuine understanding like I know I say that a lot like oh I gotta understand with people but she's so articulate and smart y'all like it's not nothing that we can't communicate about or come to an understanding about like she know I just got out of something fresh too so y'all know I just got a relationship with what's this one April so I just got a relationship four months ago so she ain't really in a rush for nothing I'm not even really in a rush for nothing we really just enjoy each other company and I can't ask for nothing better you know what I mean so even if I do post stuff here and there you know I'm gonna show my appreciation because you know that's that's my little vibe but Right now, it's like, it ain't no rush for nothing, y'all. I'm trying to build myself up. She trying to build herself up. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, for real, for real, we working as a team. Like, I don't know, man. Like, she really, like, been by my side, y'all. Like, like I told y'all, man, I was going through it a couple of months back. And it's, like, not one moment where I had to, like, question, like, anything about this girl. And I love that about her. Like, she's dark. She's set in stone. Like, she, I just know, like, she's genuine. You know what I mean? So... Like I said, man, I can't do nothing but thank God for the people right. that I have in my yeah, life right now because y'all ain't uplift me every day. So I'm just thankful as hell. But yes, I am single to end that up. But y'all know the vibe. That's a blessing. They said, when are we going to see the Talia girl? We want to see her. Um, Talia will get in the camera whenever she want to get in the camera. She's not no social media female. Like, I say this all the time. She's super laid back. She's super chill. She don't itch to be like, oh, put me on your, like, put me on your YouTube. Put me on your Instagram. Like, she don't care for that type of shit. Like, as long as I'm treating her good, like, she out the way. Like, she don't care for none of this social media shit. And if y'all follow her on Instagram, don't show love to her, no cap. But if y'all follow her on Instagram, y'all know she don't even really post like that. Like, I love that about her, though. Like, she's just somebody that just, like, ugh, I just want to put her in a fucking box and lock her in it on some, like, you shit. Like, I don't want you to just, like, fuck with nobody. And it's, it sounds, not fuck with nobody. I just, like, don't want nobody, like, around you like she's so precious y'all so i'm just cherishing the fuck out of like everything that's going on in my life right now i'm not gonna lie like i love it here i'm not gonna lie good
That's if you guys want to watch the full video, make sure you guys head over to her channel if you haven't checked it out already. I cannot post the whole video here, but make sure you guys leave your comments down below and let us know how do you think. Let us know how do you feel about everything. Let's get into Armand's baby mother, Essie. You guys all know she just moved to Houston, so she is getting her apartment together. Guys, before she can even do an apartment tour or anything like that, she stated on live the other day that Legacy spilled something on her couch. At the night, nighttime is when it really got bad for me. I cooked the dinner. I'm doing content for y'all. My daughter spilled the hot tea all over my white couch. Now, first of all, Essie, first of all, me and my woman was just talking about the couches we got in there because I wanted like <clears throat> theater style couches, not because I want my living room to look like a theater, but because I have a clumsy child and I have a puppy, right? So us putting a white couch, a green couch, cream couch, no. <laughs> now in a new house, when we get a house, cool. The living room going to be off limits. You understand what I'm saying? It's going to be one of them rooms that you just look at. Ooh, that's cute. And you go over there to the to the den area. You know what I'm saying? Or, or whatever we're going to have set up to where everybody can lounge and kick it at. But it won't be that living room. You get what I'm saying? So until I get one of them, we're going to deal with what we got. Because, <laughs> oh, my God, I will lose it. After I ask her, do you? are you sure you don't need no help? No, I don't need no help. Now, you knew she needed it. Spilled it in 2.5 seconds. I don't even know if oh, I even looked away when she spilled it. Cool. So I had to wash the thing, mm. even though it's really not something you can wash. I had to cut through the thing oh. for the couch cover to come off. Now I'm washing it, hoping it's going to wash. I cooked my salmon. My salmon didn't even taste good. Oh. So now I'm really just hungry with a stained couch and sore. Oh, that's that's just a bad night. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below um mm, this the couch for me mm -mm. yeah love y'all bye